So what would you do for a delicious mini donut? I mean, look at them. They're so tiny and tasty. Just want to eat them up. Well, Deshaun and I drove, well, I drove. Uh, Deshaun slept most of the way. But we made our way up to Berea, Kentucky to check out Hole and Corner Donut Shop and to learn more about how these mini miracles are made. So we spoke with Rhea, the head donut master of Hole and Corner, to see what goes into making these delicious mini donuts. Um, so yeah, Rhea, uh, tell us about your shop a little bit. Okay, so Hole and Corner, I don't know if you know, it's kind of like an old phrase for like something hidden mm -hmm. and tucked away. So we're part of a noodle shop that has donuts in the morning, it's weird, I know. <laughs> and the whole stick nice. was that we disappear whenever noodles is here, and then we hop out in the mornings and say, hey. Nice. <laughs> um, we serve mini donuts, they're small, they're like this big around, uh, with 14 traditional flavors. Hey, surprise donut. Um, we have 14 regular flavors and then we will use specials. We make all of our glazes in-house wow. with real ingredients. Real raspberries, real lemon juice, all of that stuff is great. Nice. So let me ask you, why why mini donuts? So you can try more flavors. So you're not stuck with like big, huge donuts of one flavor when there's like three other flavors you want to try yourself. Mm-hmm. So it's a good way to do that. So can you give me <laughs> an example of some of the flavors that, that you do serve her? Yes. Um, our top sellers are the Dulce de Leche, mm. the Fruity Pebble that you just tried, and then our classic chocolate glaze. Um, we have a Kentucky Proud lineup that's made with l soda and topped with ginger snaps. That's our raspberry sprinkle. Um, we also have a chai that's made locally that we use, and then a maple bourbon that has brown butter and real bourbon in it. Wow. So, another question. Are you married? I am. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Can I still, no. No, no real, no real reason why I'm asking that. It's just, um... Yeah. You know, cooking donuts. It's you know, cool. they're tasty. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Well, anyway, thank you so much, Rhea, for uh, for uh, allowing us to run around our shenanigans in your shop and, and be crazy. And thank you so much for samples and everything. You're welcome. Uh, so, guys, yeah, Rhea in Berea, Kentucky. Hi. Come check out her donut shop. Yes, Hole and Corner Donuts. Hole and Corner. I'm still chewing on one. It's really good. <laughs> I don't want to swallow it. I want to keep it. <laughs> like I want shit monkey. Finally, it was time for Deshaun and I to enjoy our own batch of these magical mini donuts. After having some mini donut fun in Berea, Deshaun found a nearby corn maze in Richmond, Kentucky. So we headed that way. This is part two of the epic saga. The saga two episode. I don't know. It's the epic saga, the second we're, part. We're tired. We're very <laughs> tired. We've ate some we've ate more food than we ever have in our lives. That's not true. Have you seen Phil and I? We're hefty, hefty, hefty men. We're but big we're big people. Not the point. So first part of this whole episode with Phil and Time was we got glazes, which was some delicious mini donuts at a place in Berea, Kentucky. But now we're in Richmond, Kentucky, even farther away. And we're now we're doing the second part is the maze part. We're gonna be going through a corn maze. We're out here gonna be exploring a little bit. We're out in Bum, 
country, Kentucky. So Kentucky out, look at all that green forestry goodness. We're gonna maybe do some, look at some pumpkins, maybe look around at the country folk and do some cool stuff like that. So stick around, it's gonna be fun. And hopefully I will be faster than filling this corn maze, but we'll see who's the most clever cerebral. Well, if, uh, we're, if we're running, yeah. Yeah, obviously neither <laughs> one of us will never get through oh my God. in this labyrinth style maze. So stick around. Of course, before hitting up the actual corn maze, uh, Deshaun had to stop and get his fun in. We're at Baldwin Farms and we're doing the next part of our glaze and maze extravaganza. <laughs> Specifically, these don't look like donuts. In fact, these look like corn. Yeah, and what is the I... half part of the word maze? Corn. Corn maze. So me and Phil Pickle will be going to this corn maze and who is the most agile, quick as a cat, fast as nope. a feline? No. Nope. nope. Neither one. Part of a dog. Stuff like that. Animals. I know my animals. Um, so we're going to see who can go through here the fastest. We're both going to be recording videos to see uh, our experience. Hopefully none of us get lost. And if we do get lost, that's going to make for good content. I kind of feel like we're going to get lost. I'm I may end up barging through a, a wall. Remember court. who you are. Lying to you. And, and I'm not going to lie, this is a lot bigger than I have thought. Yeah. I thought this would be like, they'd be like chest high, we could see everything. This is a legit corn maze. So, um, yeah. So start your engines and uh, let's see who's the fastest. Okay. And there's a lab breath. So I'm going to go. All right. Oh, it splits here, huh? All right. All right, so Deshaun and I have taken different paths. And I think, yeah, I'm already at a dead end. Phil? <laughs> Phil Pickle. Where you at, Phil? That was... There are animals in here with us. Uh, oh boy. Whoop. Excuse me, guys. Pardon me. Well, I see why. <laughs> I understand. Okay, another split. Uh, which splits into more splits. Um, oh boy. I had a lot of confidence in this so far. And now I don't have any. <laughs> oh, hey Phil, how are you? Oh it's like a it's like a crossover episode. I, dude, I don't know where to go. <laughs> I, I, I had confidence, it just dwindled. <laughs> like I just I had I saw one sign that said I was halfway there. And I've been following it since and I feel like I've not moved from that corner. I think I think whoever us is. Do you see that sign? They know that was where the unknown sign? Yeah. Us I, I, us is messing with us. us. And they're gonna come get us. us. Oh, scary, Phil. I've hit so many dead ends. I've hit about six. So that way, there's a quicker way out. So I'll let you go that way, Phil. I'm gonna go this way. Okay. All right. Yeah, it feels like signs in here. I'm gonna turn around. There's like a green alien leg sticking out. Idiot, Phil. <laughs> I came from there. <laughs> Where are you, us? Where are you? I feel like one of those lab rats that there's a piece of cheese at the end. They do experiments on for the cheese or something about the cheese. I don't know. Long and short, I feel like a mousey. And guess what? Uh, well, I'm going peace. Live life and prostate prosper. So thank you guys for watching. Ask my on trade. I just won the maze, so Phil, suck it. So keep watching. Bye -bye. I'm getting sick of this. We're, we're, I'm never gonna get out. I'm never gonna get out. <laughs>
the corn is I. I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready. Uh, hey! Where have you been? So how do, how, how do we do? Hold on, hold on, let me... Let me okay. Alright, so... How, how, how'd, you, how'd we do? Well, I got out in record time, I was told, by the guy who made it. Okay. And it took you about extra 20 minutes and you came out through the entrance. So, you never finished it. <laughs> oh, oh dear God. So, oh. yeah man, it got weird in there. Uh, there was, I became one with the corn at you one became point. One the, you like embodied the corn, the spirit uh, of the children of the corn I did. itself. I did, it was, it was, it, it was, was wacky. It was, uh, it was big. It, it, it's it was a lot bigger than I thought it'd be. It's a little taller, it's a lot more intricate. Um, there's uh, animals like going, you see the animals going through there too? Yeah, yeah, random, random magic elf children. Yeah, of course. Least, you know, you know what tieflings I was is what I've been told. Tieflings, tieflings yes. But, uh, and, um, but no, Phil, um, you already know who won. Let me do this so you can see I it. mean, I, I won the moral victory, I think, but, you uh. Won the, I won the war, you won the battle. Uh, because, you know what's funny, at the end of the day, who wins the war is what really matters, the battle's done. I'm so tired. Yes. Let's let's go do something else. We shouldn't eat before we've done that. No, no so, that was... but stay tuned for more awesome content. Yeah. Right. <laughs> was the corn maze vanquished? There was one more thing that Sean needed to get in before we left. Sadly, it has now come to the end of our journey, and as our heroes ride off into the sunset, they plan for future adventures and more shenanigans. Okay, so I'm gonna do